Hello uh, guys, this is a short and sweet video. It's not motorcycle related. I have um, put it so it doesn't show up in my subscriptions feed. Uh, but anyway, so this is my, so don't watch it, it's not motorcycle related. This is my 2001 Transporter. I'm making this video because it will help somebody um, do this bitch of a job. Uh, so what it is, is my, I was driving down, uh, driving along and all of a sudden the gears wouldn't go into gear at all. And what happened was this rod here popped out from the left hand side uh, ball joint there's a little ball joint in there which i unfortunately i can't get under in film you can't see it there oh you can just about so that goes in in the housing there that ball joint um and it's the actual grommet where the ball goes into uh so what i had to do so this is how to what the way i done it okay and it is a horrible job if you haven't got the right gear or you know takes a lot of sussing out so what I've done was I took this uh, ball joint off here these are known for going as well the ball in here uh, on the linkage I've already replaced that once this van's done 115,000 miles um, and so yeah so when if you take the two bolts off of the housing where that ball joint goes on to in there um, get the new grommet get a vice and push the grommet into the vice I actually had to shave off uh, a little bit on the outsides of mine, um, just a little, not you know, like five mil bit, which I had to notch out because it just wasn't going in under the pressure of the vice. Um, so, yeah, take that out, take this off, and you know, keep it loose, and um, push it in together with the vice with some uh, white grease or silicone grease. And uh, when it comes to putting it back in the van, what you need to do is to get the um, get a piece of wood I think that's about 80 mil long it needs to be solid wood like oak or something like that and wedge it in behind the engine block is that going to come out yes it is all right now I use that just to use as a packer and I'll show you here if I pull this out I've got to mind the cables and everything else which is going on there now this block here I chamfered off here like that again it's oak so it's dense it's not going to cause any problems that's 90 mil there all right so you want to wedge that in behind and what that does then is when you push the ball into the actual grommet in behind it doesn't push through the actual nylon housing uh, ball joint housing it doesn't shove it through the other side so it just put that up against the engine block then you then you got something to wedge against then so it's not going to push the grommet out the other side which is not good now after that yeah and what you want to do then is take all this gubbins off here you know just the side panel it's easily to, easy to take off get onto the end of that metal rod with a crowbar and then push it in all right it's really hard to push in but it will eventually pop if you put some white grease on it, it does eventually go. It's not a nice job, it's a fiddly job, and it's a job which can uh, cause other problems. It's one of them, it can be a can of worms, one of those jobs. But as I say, get that block in behind, which is 90 mil. Um, well, it's actually, it's gonna be a little bit more than that, but if you, if you get 90 mil, and then get one of these uh, bolsters here, stick in behind it, just to wedge it in, and it gives it a solid, um, uh, foundation then to put the crowbar on and pop that ball back into joint it is a bitch of a job compared to this one which is much easier to change uh, so that's on the 2001 um, ABL engine 1900 cc um, VW transform uh, transformer transporter all right hope that's helpful cheers